Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to study about Chinese reminder here. Let us start with the problem. Let us say we have to find the remainder of 25 into 18 then divided by 4. It is difficult to multiply 25 with 18 and then divide the Divide, divide the answer by 40 and then find the remainder. There is a simpler way for this and that is called as Chinese remainder theorem. First, let's look at this. 25 is 14 plus 11 and 18 is 14 plus 4. Substitute this in that equation. 25 into 18 is 14 plus 11 into 14 plus 4, which is equal to 14 into 14 plus 14 into 4 plus 11 into 14 plus 11 into 4. If you look at this expansion, the first three terms are all divided, are all divisible by 14 because the multiples are 14. The only term which is not divisible by 14 is 11 into 4. And 11 into 4 is the only term which will contribute to the remainder. So, when we are dividing 25 into 18 by 14, it is same as and trying to when we are trying to find the remainder when 25 into 18 is divided by 14, it is same as Finding the remainder when 11 into 4 is divisible, dividing is divided by 40. So, twenty five into 18 divided by 14 becomes 11 into 4 divided by 40, which is 44 by 14. The remainder of which is 2. The remainder of which is 14 into 3 is 42 and hence the remainder of 44 by 14 is 2. This is basically Chinese remainder here. I will explain it again. If we have A into B into C plus B into B being divided by N and we are asked to find the remainder, this is same as taking the individual remainder AR, BR into CR plus BR into ER divided by N. Divided by N. This is the first point which we have to remember when solving problems based on Chinese remainder theory. Let us take a problem and solve. Let us say we have to find the remainder then 23 into 25 into 27 into 29 is divided by 30. This is same as finding the remainder when 10 into 12 into 1 into 3 is divided by 30. This is equal to 1.3 into 3 divided by 30. This is same as finding the remainder when 120 divided by 30, we can divide it easily. 170 is divisible by 30. So 120 by 30, the remainder is 3. 3 into 3 by 30, the remainder is 9. So 23 into 25 into 27 into 29 divided by 30, the remainder when 23, 25, 25, 27 into 30, 29 divided, is divided by 13. The same as finding the remainder when 10 into 12 into 1 into 3 is divided by 13, which is equal to 9. This problem can be made simpler. Now that we have understood the Chinese remainder theorem, I will go to the second point. The second point is that we can use negative remainders. 23 divided 23 divided by 30. The negative remainder is minus 3. And 
because 26 is divisible by 13, the negative remainder is minus. The use of negative remainder is the second thing which we have to remember when solving problems based on Chinese remainder theorem. 25 divided by 13, the remainder is minus 1. 27 divided by 13, the remainder is 1. 29 divided by 13, the remainder is 3. This is minus. Minus 3 into minus 1 is 3, 3 into 1 is 3, 3 into 3 is 3 into 3 is 9. So 9 is a reminder when this number is divided by 30. That is how we solve problems at 30. Let us take another problem as well. The problem is find the reminder when 5 to the power of 1000 is divided by 4. 5 to the power of 1000 is nothing but 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 a thousand times divided by 4. This is same as 1. 5 when divided by 4 the remainder is 1. So 1 into 1 into 1 a thousand times divided by 4. Hence the remainder is 1. Let us take another problem and solve it. Let us say we have to find the remainder of when 3 to the power of 1000 is divided by 4. 3 to the power of 1000, it, it can be solved easy. 3, the negative remainder is minus 1. So, minus 1 into minus 1, a thousand times, divided by 4, which leads to the remainder of 1. Minus 1, thousand times, the answer will be positive 1. Sometimes, the last result will be negative like this, minus 1. Let's say the answer is minus 1. That comes when 3 to the power of 999 is divided by 4. The answer is minus 1. How do we solve it? Minus 1 is, minus 1 is, we have to consider 4 and subtract 1 from it. 4 minus 1 is 3. So, 3 is the remainder when 3 to the power of 999 is divided by 4. To get this clearly, we have to subtract 1 from the divisor 4. So, the two points which we have to remember in Chinese remainder theorem, I hope is now clear. The first point is the explanation of Chinese remainder theorem. A being C plus D into E divided by N is same as A, the remainder AR into BR into CR plus DR into ER by 4. That is the first point. The second thing which we have to remember is the use of negative remainders. And the third thing. The third thing which we have to remember is this. Let us say we are dividing 26 by 4 and we have to find the remainder. The remainder we all know is 2. 4 into 6 is 24. So the remainder when 26 is divided by 4 is 2. But if we we can cancel certain things out in 26 by 4. 26 by 4 is nothing but 13 by 2. The, uh, the remainder of 13 by 2 is, is 1. 13 by 2 is 1. Now we have to make a notice that make a note that 26 we convert a 26 by 4 into 13 by 2 by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2. 26 by 2 is 13 and 4 by 2 is 2. Now, once we have time the remainder, we have to multiply it by 2. 1 into 2 is 2. Is two. That is how we get the remainder of 26 by 14. I will explain it again with the problem. Let us say, we have to find the remainder of 28 when divided by 6. We can cancel certain things out here. This is same as 14 by 3. And the remainder is 2. 28 by 6. The actual remainder when 28 by actual remainder of 28 by 6 is 4. So we have to multiply 2 by 2. The number by which we converted 28 by 6 to 14 by 3. I hope this is clear. These are the three points which you have to remember in Chinese remainder theorem. I have given certain problems in the post which 
you guys need to solve to understand Chinese in my work theorem better. The solutions are present in the 